the human brain, it's amazing. It can focus all attention on what we want to see. On the way here, were you able to contemplate the landscape immersed in the city? Or that picture thank you, with your mascot in the park? Well, if you look at that picture once again, you will notice that the beautiful landscape or even these stunning condors do not stand out anymore because of presence of aerial wiring. This is a major concern, not only for the visual impact, but also by the latent threat to wildlife imposed by the presence of electrical wiring networks. As a result, our planet is tango. Transition toward wireless energy is highly expensive. However, on a small scale adaptation, it's completely possible and helps to reduce the carbon footprint. It can be used, for instance, in healthcare by using diagnostic instruments for changing bioplant, eh, biomedical devices, or for fish, heart diseases, such as the space maker, making the, making the operation as non-invasive as possible. Therefore, there must be some way to transfer energy from the external circuit to the implantable device without any physical way. This is why I'm here today in front of you. My name is Victor Ardila. I'm from University of Cantabria. And my thesis is about using couple inductors, transfer power uh, wireless energy through resonance circuits. Basically, what we do is the analytical study of the circuit in, in, in search of phenomena that are structural, that are inherent, and which can disrupt the performance of the circuit when the distance between the, between the couple inductors or between the circuits changes. Once identified, those phenomena are studied, modeling, for them, propose a solution. So, my invitation is for you that you try to identify what other phenomena in your day by day life, how to avoid them, for ensure a sustainable environment for the next generation. Thank you.